this is the first video of a new series I want to start on my channel, which is called Volkween. It's kind of like a vlogtober kind of thing, except I'm going to post two times a week, maybe three times a week for the month of October, all different Halloween or creepy or whatever themed videos. Today, we are starting it off with horror movies I think that you should watch during the month of October. These are movies that I enjoy, that I love, that I like to rewatch during this time of year. So yeah, let's get into it. The first talk about very on the nose, very perfect for this time is Trick or Treat. I watched this for the first time with my best friend, I think in the mountains on one of our trips or something and it was such a good movie it was the perfect vibe i think we went in october as well to the mountain so it's perfect it was orange and it is such an invoking feel and it's set on halloween night it is an anthology horror movie and i love anthology movies and yeah i don't want to give too much away but it's just such perfect animal vibes somehow i mean you can't get any more on brand than that and everything is just this beautiful orange color and you're just so immersed in this atmosphere and so i love it so much it does such a good job of creating the perfect atmospheric halloween night the next movie i want to talk about is one of my absolute favorites it is as above so below when i watched this uh for the first time i was a teenager so almost 10 years ago now and I'm still just as obsessed with it as I was when I first watched it. It's a movie that takes place in the Paris catacombs. It is a found footage style movie. I love found footage. And they were actually the first movie to film inside the Paris catacombs themselves. So fun fact there. And I love this movie so much that I am planning on getting a tattoo about it. But anyways, the gore is great. Take my word for it and watch this movie. Another movie I really recommend this time of year is House of Wax. This is a remake, but I really enjoy it is made in the time of 2005 and all of our pop culture staples are there chad michael murray paris hilton and if you enjoy the whole group of teenagers to early 20s going to camp and they come across something creepy and then disaster happens then this is the movie for you again the gore the effects it's there it has it's just one of those great early 2000s mid 2000s horror movies some other movies i recommend i'm just gonna put them together is silent hill and then silent Silent Hill Revelation. I enjoyed both of those movies. I know that there's some weird opinions about it, but I mean, I love them. Just so creepy and atmospheric and the music and everything. I don't know, I love when movies really make you feel like a part of that world and you you can't ever forget hearing those sirens and if you're a fan of the video games, you know, watch them. I mean, this isn't like unheard of horror movies but these are ones that i just love to put on when it's a rainy day outside and i just kind of want to cozy up and watch some gore the house of the devil is a movie that was styled to look like it was filmed in like the 80s it takes you through a loop it really does it's kind of more of a slow burn things really take time to build and make you feel unsettled and so by the time things are really taking off you're feeling what that character is feeling and yeah this was a recently made movie but they do a great job of making you feel like you are home alone babysitting and creepy stuff starts happening so i would give that a watch as well Again, this is not a unheard of movie, but I really recommend Ready or Not. It's got the gore. It's got characters that you grow to care about. It's got a great story. It's got stuff to keep you engaged. And it also touches on classism and things like that, but it's also gory and it's fun. And you're just like holding on to yourself, waiting to see what happens next and hoping this person gets through. So I definitely recommend Ready or Not. I mean, who doesn't want to see a wedding dress so from white to covered in blood in the same vein of ready or not actually i really recommend your next your next is one of my favorite horror movies i rewatch this several times a year but mostly during the autumn months it's a movie about an isolated family reunion so to speak and masked intruders come in and things take a turn and it gets very bloody and it gets very gory. Again, it's just a good movie to make you feel alone and scared. Pacing is wonderful. And again, I'm trying not to spoil so much when I'm recommending these movies, so just go watch them. Um, this is one that me and my boyfriend just watched the other night. I've seen it before, he had not, and it is The Taking of Deborah Logan. And 
Oof. That is another found footage horror movie. It's really good. It is also one of those you're isolated, you know, you're out in a house, the autumn months, and creepy things start happening. Some weird possessive things start happening. This one is kind of fun, but it is your standard slasher. It is called The Final Girls. Girl goes into the movie of her mom, who is an actress who played a character in this horror movie, and she has to like go through the movie with her mom and try to save her. And it's great because it really invokes the feeling of Friday the 13th but it's still fun and it's still is it maybe a lighter horror movie to watch and so maybe that's a lighter one to watch that isn't as dark I'm also going to recommend the remake of a nightmare on Elm Street again it is one of those standard slasher movies to come out in the 2010s and there are a lot of recognizable faces of actors during that time that were in it and I really truly enjoy this remake. I think that it breathes the new life, which a lot of horror movies were trying to do around the time. It's a fun watch. I mean, you know Freddy Krueger, you know the basis there, and so that's something that I really recommend. Another movie that might be on, it's more of a dark comedy, is Cabin in the Woods. I love this movie so much. I've actually referenced a few of the movies that I've mentioned here in a video I did a long time ago kind of explaining why I love horror movies so much in outfits based on my favorite final girl so I'll have that in the down bar it is a dark comedy so it is going to reference all of these different horror movies it's going to reference different tropes and there's definitely some twists but there's also wonderful effects wonderful gore a story that's entertaining characters that you want to root for and it's funny and it's a good put on this movie grab a snack and just enjoy I highly recommend that one i love movies that play on themselves i also am going to recommend the ritual this is about some hikers that are trying to commemorate and memorialize their friend who had passed away so they're going hiking in this like isolated european mountain range and they stumble across some things that get them into some trouble but again it's an atmospheric movie that is isolated you're in the woods you just you feel that intensity it's a slower paced one it definitely takes time to make you comfortable and then uncomfortable and then it kind of ramps up at the end and it has definitely some twists And then it wouldn't be me if I didn't recommend this movie and a what to watch during Halloween season. You have to watch Scream. Scream 1996, the original, or if you're gonna do something like what I do, which is binge all of the Scream movies. This is a movie that I try to save for like more special occasions, whatever. It's not a movie that I can just sit and leave on. It's a movie I really like to sit and watch and pick up on things. Scream is my favorite horror movie ever. I think with how it calls back to so many horror movies throughout years and how it integrates tropes and references so many different things and is a real culmination of horror itself like you have to watch it during halloween and i know that these are all different kinds of movies i've got found footage i've got some slashers i've got easier watches i tried to give different kinds of horror and i know that a lot of people are going to already watch your standard halloween it things like that i wanted to give some things that maybe weren't as popular i think scream definitely is just something you have to watch hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me babbling on about horror for a little bit i I just really wanted to provide movies that gave that atmosphere of Halloween, of October, of fall, and things that I just really love to watch. So let me know what your favorite horror movies are. Let me know what you guys like to watch during this season. That's what I enjoy watching. 14 is barely scratching the surface. I had to stop myself because there were so many more movies I wanted to recommend during this time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!